And with me right now is Mr. Bob Perkins, who's a radio personality at WRTI right here in Philadelphia. How you doing, Mr. Perkins? Yeah, well. And it's good to see you today. Well, it's good to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, tell me this thing that Mr. Tony Williams has going on, his scholarship jazz festival. What do you think about such a magnificent program that he has? Well, he's been getting away with it for, for 19 years now, and you can do anything in jazz for 19 years. You have done <laughs> great service, I tell you, because, uh, you know, sometimes jazz is, is a hard sell to people who don't understand what's going on with jazz. Mm -hmm. But uh, Tony is an excellent musician, has been for many, many years, yes, and a uh, former teacher and school administrator here in the Philadelphia school system for some 37, 38 years. He's retired now, and uh, he does music full-time now. Isn't that something? He's an amazing young man, and so yeah, are man. you, because all of us have one premise, one purpose, and that's to keep jazz alive. Indeed. Now, with that statement, what do you feel the state of jazz is in right now? How, how do you feel jazz is progressing along, the culture of jazz? Well, the economy, we, everything took a hit, including jazz, with this economy mm -hmm. and the way it is. and. Uh, we're, People have talked about trying to get more young people into jazz, which mm -hmm. is a good thing. Yes. But young people, they have so many other distractions now. Mm -hmm. So many, we, I guess you wouldn't call them distractions, but so many other pursuits. They have um, land phones. They have cell phones. Mm -hmm. They have iPods. <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they have cable. They have uh, regular TV. They have so many electronic gadgetry now that you really have to push radio and you really have to push jazz to get to them and get past all the other electronics that is being pushed toward them. Mm -hmm. They have so many alternatives. Now at your radio station, WRTI, where can we find that on the dial? If one of our jazz viewers, jazz among my viewers are watching, where can they find your radio station? We're at 90.1 on the FM dial, mm -hmm. and we have split programming. We have uh, jazz in the morning from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and uh, that's classical music in the morning, mm -hmm. and then jazz at 6 p.m. to 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And I'm the guy that opens up the jazz programming at 6 p.m. I follow the classical. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on from 6 p.m. until what time? Until, until 9. 6 p.m. to 9, Monday through Thursday, and also on Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 in the p.m. And I play the Duke, the Count, um, Sarah, Billy, uh, Billy Holiday, and Eckstein, right, right. and Carmen McRae, and, and all of the great icons from the years past, and mix it in with uh, the newer things that sound like they may have been played, you know, today. Mm -hmm. you know, some of the things that uh, have a, an older flavor to them, or right. vintage flavor, right. but uh, they were played, they're played today. Who are some of the jazz artists that you like to play at WRTI? Well, I go with my audience. I've been in this business for going to be 45 years in November. It's mm -hmm. November coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go with the audience. Uh, they write me, they email me, and I'll uh, say, hey, I like this and that. And the people I name, uh, Count Duke. Mm -hmm. um, these are people that um, the elders grew up with. They exactly. have great memories. They got married, and they even say uh, they. <laughs> They made babies, uh, <laughs> but it's not too risque for no. her. <laughs> not, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> to some of the music of uh, some of the uh, some of the great love songs that uh, you know were prevalent back in the fifties and sixties. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, did you get a chance to attend the Tony Williams Scholarship Jazz Festival this weekend? Did you get an opportunity to see any of the other shows? I was one of the MCs. Wow. Okay. Okay. And what day? What day would, uh, were you the master of ceremony? Well, Tony started on the 4th, which was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and um, part of today, uh, which is Monday. Yes. So he had, uh, you know, almost a four-day run there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jackie Ryan, marvelous singer from uh, the other coast, from the West Coast, mm -hmm. the San Francisco area. And um, Bill Cosby was there. Yes, with, with his friend. reunion band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one of Tony's friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and Cosby usually comes in and uh, gives the uh, program an assist. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. everybody loves to see Bill Cosby, so they come out to see him, <laughs> which helps the, um, helps the program along and helps jazz. And well, see, that's the wonderful thing because you and I both know, as well as our jazz on my mind viewers, that jazz does need a lift. We it need does. a kick it right does. about that. Well, it's, it's the music that you have to think about. It's not elevated music. Mm -hmm. It's the music that you have to say, well, 
what is he trying to say or she trying to say on the horn or at the piano? They're talking to me in the language of, of music. And they're improvising. Mm -hmm. It's not on a sheet of paper or notes. It's coming out of here, yes. out of the head, yes. out of the heart, out of the soul. So you have to listen to that. <laughs> you know, I mean, to find out what the person is, is trying to convey. Yes, know? and there and is a means, message in the music. There is a message in music, and you have to uh, you have to give it your attention. And you know, today everybody's busy. <laughs> everybody's so busy. Now let me ask you, Mr. Purdy, how long have you been on the radio? How long have you, has your radio career been happening? Be 45 years in November. Uh, uh, all facets of it: the spoken word. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, editorials. Um, I was a news director at WDAS in Philadelphia here for yes. an R&B station for about 19 years. But I've always found a way to do some jazz on the side. My station, <laughs> the primary station always allowed me to do moonlight and do jazz on the side. Mm -hmm. and, but now I, thank God, I've been able to do it uh, full time for the last 12 years at WRTI. Once again, before we go now, you mentioned that your listeners can email you. Do you want to give the Jazz on My Mind viewers your yes, email indeed. address? Yes, you mentioned that. Uh, W-R-T-I dot O-R-G. Now, can they listen to you via satellite, through, through the computer? They can go online they and listen to They can go you. online, and we also have HD, that newfangled uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> you know, There's some the electronic gadgetry again. Yes. HD. Yes. They have an HD radio, you can catch us. But a lot of people we get call from Barcelona, we get calls from Paris, mm -hmm. from Germany, and all over the place. People listening, and that's amazing. You know, somebody it three is. or four thousand miles away it checking is. you out. That is. Yeah. Now, one more time before we go, please give us your email address so that they can listen to you via the computer. Indeed. W R T I dot org dot o r g, and I'm on again from uh, Monday through Thursday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., and also on Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a legend I'm ha I have the pleasure of sitting here with today, Mr. Bob Perkins, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching Jazz on My Mind. Jazz on My Mind. All right.